Good afternoon and welcome to a new episode of Jumping Let's Play. This week we are taking a look at Next Station London. This is a flip and write game from Blue Orange. Really excited about this one. I've been playing it loads. Excited to be able to share this game with you. So the basic premise of the game is you will be creating routes across the London underground. The theme of the game is you've been hired to redesign the underground, but ultimately you are uh, connecting routes and you're scoring points based on each of the four routes that you will be playing. This is a one to four player game, so you can play it solo. We're going to show you the solo mode here. It really doesn't change how the game is played, but the uh, easiest way to do it for the video. So let's dive into the setup. We've got our setup already here. Each player is given a sheet. These are double sided, so you can get double the use out of them. And we have our stack of route cards here as well. These will be telling us what stations we can be uh, connected to on our current line. So let's give those a good shuffle there. We also have four different colored pencils here. In a four player game, each player is given one pencil each. In a three player game, each player is given one pencil and one is put in between any of the players. And in a two-player game, a pencil is given to each player and the remaining two are each put in between each player. For a solo one, as we're doing here, you just randomise the order that you want to put them in. Here we've got purple, green, pink and blue. So starting with the purple station which is this one here. We're going to be turning these cards over and then connecting these routes up and hopefully scoring ourselves a load of points at the end of the game. The points down here uh, is fairly straightforward. It looks like there's a fair few bits to it, but we have our columns for each of our four uh, routes that we will be making. The top row here is the amount of districts that it uh, passes through so we've got 13 districts in total these nine in the middle here and then these four corner ones you can see here the more districts that we connect to the more points we get in here then here we have how many stations in any one district uh, route passes through so if we managed to pass through like five or six of these for example we would put that there but it's in whichever one we pass through the most and finally, we get two points each time that route crosses over the Thames here. Down here, we have our tourist spots. So some of them, you can see, have stars around them here. Every time that we connect a route to them, we cross one of these off. And then at the end of the game, it's whichever is the furthest along that hasn't been crossed that we score points for. Here, we score points for uh, connection, so having two routes connected to each other on a station three routes connected to each other on the station and having all four routes connected we're then going to combine our total here this column here is used for one of the modules so we won't be using this in the demo in the playthrough here but we will show you the two modules at the end of the game so we will begin so we turn over the top cards and we have got circle so we are starting here and we need to connect to a circle. So we've got a circle here, we've got a circle here. You'll often find that there's gen generally always a option to go to, but as you fill up, it will become less likely. So we're gonna go crossing into here. One, because it gives us a new district that we've entered. We also cross the Thames as well, so that's gonna score us points. So we turn over the next one. We have got a uh, pentagon here. So with these ones, we can only connect from either end. So once we start building up our route, it's only from either ends that we can connect to. So we're going to go down to here, crossing the Thames again. So this is giving us a nice healthy start to the game. Our next one is a special card. So what this means is that we can actually deviate from our track. So at the moment, we could continue on from this point or this point, but this card will allow the next card we turn over to come out from the circle if we so wish. This is helpful if you just want to get extra stations in one district or if you want to connect to one of the uh, tourist locations, but you're unable to do so on your current routes. So let's turn over the next card. 
we've got a wild so this is going to allow us to connect to anyone that we like so let's connect ourselves up here so this will now give us another end that we're able to work our way off from so if our next card um, comes up we've got quite a lot of choice now so we've got a circle here what we're going to do with this is instead of going down to this one is we're going to come up to here this is a wild so any uh, shape can connect to this it also is a uh, location a uh, tourist location so we cross off the zero there so we are now on the scoreboard for our locations for our tourist locations rather okay we've got the uh, pentagon there again so let's just see what we do have so we can come down from that one there to this one we have a, a triangle so let's go up again and a square will go here so you can see now we've got quite a lot of different stations within this district here so if we're able to get into more districts it should give us quite a nice score so we've got a triangle again where can we go let's go up this way and we have a square so we're going to cross the thames and we're going to go up to this location here and cross off one thing we need to keep an eye on as we're turning these cards over is if we turn over all five of the pink cards before the deck is used up then that is the end of the round so let's just have a quick count now one two three four so there's one card left which means we get to see all the cards this round this one is a wild so what we're going to do is we're going to come straight down here and onto this tourist location here so now we're going to total up the score for uh, this route so first of all we see how many districts we have passed through one two three four the district with the most stops in it, which I believe will be this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be a really nice score there. And how many times we cross the Thames? One, two, three. So that's going to score us six points there. So we have got 24. We have got 30 points for that line. So that's quite a good score there. And we've also got ourselves currently four points going towards our end game score. Uh, for our tourist locations so we are done with this route in a solo player game we just pull it off to one side in a game with more players we would pass it to our left and we would take the one from our right either from another player or the spare pencil that happens to be there but for this we are just putting that off to one side up there so we're going to give these a good shuffle And let's go. So we're starting on uh, green now. So that is this one here. And we're going up to a uh, square. So let's go across here. And we've got a triangle. Now we can go across here if we want to get into another district. But we're going to go down here, go into another district and get ourselves another tick on the our tourist locations down at the bottom so we have got square now so we can't go from this side because we've already got a line here and there are no other squares available to us from here so we are going up this way we've got ourselves a circle so this one can come out so we're going to go out this way and we've got ourselves the pentagon there. Let's come back across. So we're coming here. We get to cross off another one on our tourist locations. We have a triangle. So let's jump up here into a new uh, district. And we have a wild here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down. That wild will allow us to connect to the triangle here. So we cross off another one like so. OK, 
Okay, so this one we're able to switch tracks so we can come off somewhere if we have a better option available for us. And this is a wild, so let's take a look. We've got one, two, three, four districts. So let's come out of here and let's go straight up to this one. That's going to give us a, another district uh, to connect us. We've got a circle here. We'll go up there, connect to one of these outer districts. Now, one, two, three, four. So we're lucky. Two rounds in a row, we're going to see all the cards there. And then this is going to give us a uh, pentagon there. So where do we want to go? Let's get our next district in there. So now we take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got seven districts that we've connected to there. We'll now see which district has the most stops in it, which will be this top one here. One, two, three, four. When we've crossed the Thames once, so we get two points there. So we have got ourselves 28. We've got ourselves 30 points again. So that pencil's done. We'll shuffle up. And we're now starting on pink. Now this card here, we've drawn it as our first card. If this is drawn as your first card or your second card, it is simply ignored. So we don't get the benefit benefit of it in this round. So we have got a triangle. So we are here. So can we get to a triangle from here? Yes, we can. We can go up here. Now, there is a triangle here, but we can't cross the lines over. We have to uh, move our way around. So if we wanted to get here, for example, we're going to have to make our way either to this one to get down or down to this one here and come round like so. So we've got a circle there. So let's bring ourselves in here. So this is going to give us another connection towards our end of game. We have got the pentagon there. So we don't have anything there. So nothing can connect. Let's just double check that. That's square, that's square. That's a square, that's a circle. So we don't get a chance to play this one this turn, which will happen sometimes as it fills up. Here we've got a wild. So let's come down this way. Hopefully this should present us more options getting down this way where it's a little bit more freer. And we've got ourselves a wild again. So let's just come straight down once more. We have circle. So that is going to bring us to this one here. And we have a square. So we can come down to this one. Or we could go to this one. We'll go to this one here. Because that will help us with our multiplier for different districts. And there we have got the pentagon. So let's go straight up. Create ourselves another connection here. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got a square here that we can go to. Which will be this one here. So we just cross ourselves in there. And we'll stop there. Because this is our fifth pink card, we will not get to play this one. So we just move to the scoring. So we'll check the districts that we've travelled through. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six districts that we have travelled through there. We'll see what we've got the most in. So we've only got one in there, two in there, two in here, two in there. So it is just two. And we have crossed the Thames once, so we get two points for that. So we've got 14 points. A little less um, fruitful on that one. But we've got one more to go. And this is our blue line. All right, those have had a nice little shuffle. So we're going to start from blue here. So we're going to go to a square stop. So that is going to be this one here for us. Okay, so again, we've drawn this in our first two cards, so we ignore the effect of this. It's just a dud card at this point. We get a wild here. So we're going to come down this way. 
Hopefully we get a circle or another wild which allow us to connect here. There we go, there's our circle. So we connect there, we cross another one off. We're now having 14 points at the end of the game if we don't connect to any more uh, tourist locations. So we got circle again. So we can come up here. And we've got the pentagon, so let's go across. We have a wild, so we're going to use that. We're going to use that to come down here. So this is going to give us more points for having three connecting routes. And we've got a triangle there. So let's see what we've got in terms of triangles. Nothing from there, so it is just this way. And we've got the pentagon again. So let's go in there. And we've got ourselves another two connected routes. We have a square. So that's going to bring us out here. And let's just have a quick look. One, two, three, four. So we do get to see the last card, a triangle here. So it's just this one here. So we connect our last routes here. So now we'll take a look, see how many districts we've passed through one two three four five six we have passed through who has the most stops one two three four so we have this one here with the most stops we haven't crossed the Thames so we don't score anything on that and now we just add up the score here so that is 24 points so fairly good all the rounds. So now we just add up these points here. So we have got 60, we've got 84, we've got 98 points there. So we'll just put that in there. Here we have got 14 points. Now we check these ones here. So we have got a connection up here with two routes. So that's one. A connection here with two routes. So that's two, three, four five six so we're going to put six in there so we get 12 points for that we'll then take a look at routes with three so we have got one here that is uh three different routes connected so it's just one we score five we don't get anything there so that is uh 17 points and we're not using this module here but we will explain it after we have done our scores so we take a look here so we've got 98 there plus 31 so that is going to give us 129 if my maths are correct 129 points in the book if you're playing solo it's going to give you a little uh, gauge here of how well you've done so if we take a look here if we we're playing solo uh, we're a real site supervisor so that's nice we're nearly there and you can see that you can get really high scores on this one so that is how to play Next Station London. Fairly straightforward. You're flipping cards, you're following the cards, you're creating your routes for whichever given colour you have on that turn. So the modules. There are two extra modules for this game. You have objectives. So there are five objectives here. You'll shuffle them up and you will use two of these in any given game. So each of these will have their own route. So this one, for example, connecting all nine here. This one uh, having uh, eight different uh, connections between two lines. Here, this one is having uh, five, I believe. I haven't played with these ones yet. Crossing the Thames six times. And connecting stations in all 13 districts. So these just give you a little bit more of a goal to go towards. You can score on both of them throughout the game. If you do, you just give yourselves a tick here, add the points uh, to it there. You also have pencil powers, and these are just a variety of different things that will allow you to uh, change the gameplay when it's your turn with any given coloured pencil. And these can be played together. They can be played separately if you just want to use one or the other. So... That is everything for this uh, Let's Play for Next Station London. I hope you enjoyed. I really, really enjoy this game. It's a fantastic pick-up-and-play game. The rules are straightforward. 
It's a travel uh, game as well, so you can take this anywhere you go. If you happen to be on a trip up to London, for example, uh, you can just take this out. There's uh, nothing that's going to disrupt it. It uh, packs away nicely. There's not a long setup, and you can get a game done inside 20, 25 minutes. It's also bright and colourful as well. Works well for all ages. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to try the game out, do come along to the shop. It is now available in our library. And we will be happy to sit down with you and give you a demo of the game if you would prefer. We also have plenty in stock as it is our game of the week for the current week. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for the next one. Thank you.